Hey folks, Rob back with another Rob Plays, and this time, back to the road with the C64 conversion of Atari's Road Blasters. Now, oh, wrong joystick. Um, so the original game came out in 1986 or 87 for the arcades. The C64 conversion followed 87, 88. I've seen sources that make that a little differ. And the idea is, of course, it's basically a futuristic road rally where you've got a heavily armed car you basically run through as much as you can. So let's dive in. Now this version actually got handled by Amazing Products who are best known for the uh, conversion of OutRun which I actually quite like. I know a lot of people don't but I think pretty highly of it. Well, not highly but I think decently of it. So there you are. You know, you got your car basically race through these courses. It's sort of got that arcade stick to the lane kind of movement where you don't need to really worry about keeping like holding the line as you enter the corner and I guess for what Road Blasters is about you know driving through these courses blowing up cars that's a good thing so those orbs that we just collected are for fuel there's also red ones I think the difference really is I think it's like red orbs have less than green. Anyway, so we go through, get to the end of the course. Now the big thing about how you uh, you get fuel, like an arcade, you know, you're, ma you're bounded by your main and reserve tanks of fuel. And the big way you get that is besides picking it up and making checkpoints, is also blasting these cars. Ooh. Blasting the cars gets you, um, you know, more points based on your multiplier, you increase your multiplier by by being precise with shooting. And yes, yeah, so we've just got the UZ the UZ cannon, which, which is a little cumbersome to use here because you have to just jam jam the down on your joystick instead of hitting um, space or something. Whereas in the arcade game it was a second fire button, which is much more convenient. Yeah. Ah Damn it. Damn mines. Alright. Ah, some fuel. And that was just careless. Ah, oh, what's even worse is that there are fuel pickups that I could have gotten. But I think I'm about the line anyway. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, would have been game over otherwise. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it is much tighter, well actually much harder, to line up your your shots on this version. I mean, I played this, I actually played the Lynx version quite a lot. Um, it was one of the first games I got when I started collecting Lynx stuff. And and I've had the chance to play the arcade version recently as well. Uh, and that tends to handle like, you can sort of see on your car sprite when you're lined up. And it just seems to be a little easy to actually line those shots up. Which means on the Lynx version, I can actually get a pretty high multiplier. And do better. Here, it is significantly more challenging to do that. I'm not sure if it's just the controls feel a little sloppier. The sprites, you know, the lower resolution of the 64's graphics doesn't help. But yeah, it just, it doesn't feel right. I mean, the speed... It honestly feels a bit slower than Outrun. It's weird. I, don't, I, I would have thought their technique would have improved. But yeah, it feels a little slower. The controls feel a little looser and not in a good way. And the lack of, say, engine noise, it really detracts. Ah, oh, that was a nitro booster. Um, those planes drop. There's four things they'll drop. They'll drop the UZ cannon, which I had on armed earlier, which is, you know, a great weapon for clearing enemies away. They have the Nitro Booster, which is basically a speed boost. Um, Electro Shield, which basically protects you from collisions and mines and weapons fire. And then they have a Cruise Missile, which is supposedly able to clear out everything in your path. I've never ever actually collected one, so I don't know how well it works. And one of the things I find interesting is there's 50 stages all up on this game. I've maybe seen 10 or 10 or so, 
But at least on the C64, they're loaded in blocks of 10. So we're on stage 4 at the moment. So I don't know how far I'll get in this run. But I'm doing a lot better than my previous runs. So stage 4 done. Yeah, it's an alright conversion. Um, truth be told, it did get slagged a lot in reviews. And I think, while it's not a great game, it may have been a little harsh. But we'll see. I, I don't know. I, oh, and I missed the special weapon. But I also got some reserve fuel because I actually took enough targets out. And then I just wasted, wasted a shot and... Yeah, the bikes are very tough to hit, and it's a, it's something that I find incredibly frustrating here. Ah, uh, curses. So we could drive off the road and avoid him. Guess not. Yes, yeah, so I'm sort of in two minds about this. It's not a great conversion, but it's kind of playable. Yeah, I'm not doing so good with my score here, so that's why I haven't been picking up much reserve fuel. And the other thing I always find is interesting is is finally watching my speak up. Yeah, use that cannon. Oh, and I just lost it again. It seems to be the story of me with this game, isn't it? Get the power up, lose it moments later. But yeah, I just... Again, I really just... I do miss the preciseness of the controls. Like... The Lynx version is amazing for what that hardware could do. For what that hardware could do, you know, it was very, a lot of, you know, this game relies on a lot of sprite scaling, and it did it well. And yeah, for a simple joypad and buttons combo, controls felt very tight and very, <coughs> very precise, you know. In the same way the arcade game does, but the arcade game, ah, oh, game over, has, you know, this rather nice steering wheel setup. So either way, you know, it works really well. And to be honest, I'm not sure there's much else I need to say, really. It's an alright conversion, but it just feels a little underwhelming. I mean, it's not a disaster. I mean, it's actually a playable game. It's just, it could be, it could be better. You know, maybe there should have been more loading, I'm not sure. But I actually feel like the fact that I can just load it up and at least get through a bunch of the levels before it needs to hit the tape again to, to load the rest in. So with that, it's pretty much that. So... Thanks again for watching, and of course, thanks again for subscribing if you're a subscriber. If not, please do consider it. You know, these go up weekly, and they're always, you know, something different and unique. Um, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, please do consider leaving a thumbs up or a comment down below. If you want to see new videos as I release them, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe link for more.